Okay, now for just a recap. Hypertension, also known as elevated blood pressure, is a long-term medical condition in which the blood pressure in the arteries is persistently elevated. The diastolic pressure should be greater than 89 mm of mercury and the systolic blood pressure should be greater than 139 mm of mercury to qualify as being clinically significant hypertension. Hypertension can be systemic and pulmonary. Systemic um, is the usual that if we talk about hypertension we mean systemic hypertension and the pulmonary hypertension um, is another disease which is due to intrinsic lung disease, left sided heart failure, thromboembolism, pulmonary arterial hypertension which is actually a congenital defect which ha which involves a left to right shunt in the heart which in eventually reverses to a right to left shunt uh, and then causes Eisenmenger syndrome. Uh, pulmonary hypertension will cause pulmonary edema and right sided heart failure. Remember this. Hypertension can also be classified as being benign and malignant. Hypertension cannot be benign but benign means that it is a mild or moderate elevation in the blood pressure. It is clinically silent and it will cause um, vessel damage over a long period of time. Malignant uh, hypertension uh, simply means that when there is a sudden extreme rise in blood pressure and it will result in end organ damage. End organ damage will include damage to the heart, brain, kidney, eye and the periphery. Hypertension can also be con uh, hypertension can also be classified as being primary hypertension and secondary hypertension. Hyper primary is also known as essential hypertension, and in this case we cannot identify the cause exactly, but there is a cause, but we cannot identify it. While secondary hypertension has a specific cause. Now. And just a recap of how normally blood pressure is regulated, we know that the blood pressure is regulated and chiefly determined by the cardiac output and the total peripheral resistance. The total peripheral resistance and the cardiac output when goes down, the blood pressure goes down and when both of them go up, the blood pressure goes up. These are the chemicals which are responsible for vasodilation and uh, local hypoxia and acidosis are also responsible for vasodilation. Blood, decreased blood volume, increased atrial natriuretic peptide, decreased heart rate, in, decreased contractility, all decrease the cardiac output and thus decreased blood pressure, increased cardiac output by all of these things and also increased aldosterone will cause increased cardiac output and increased blood pressure. The increased total peripheral resistance is caused by vasoconstriction and angiotensin 2, catecholamines, endothelin, neural factors etc. All of these cause uh, vasoconstriction and thus increased um, blood pressure. Now we have um, another important thing to note that is that sodium homeostasis is key that is the renin angiotensin aldosterone system is key in normal blood pressure regulation and that is something you need to remember. Uh, coming to the pathogenesis of hypertension the essential hypertension is the most common hypertension with which um, uh, essential hypertension is the most common uh, hypertension 90-95% of the cases and it is idiopathic we cannot point out the cause it can be due to lifestyle uh, bad lifestyle obesity smoking alcohol high salt diet and it can be a cumulative effect of environmental factors genetic polymorphisms single gene disorders there can be mutations in aldosterone synthesis enzymes um, causing aldosterone to increase and thus increase sodium and water retention increase blood pressure there can be mutations in renal epithelial sodium channel proteins which will cause increased sodium absorption reabsorption and thus um, increased blood pressure this is known as little little syndrome secondary hypertension uh, will have an identifiable cause uh, and it is the five percent of the cases there can be intrinsic renal disease as we know kidney is responsible for blood pressure regulation renal artery stenosis will tell kidney that okay if i have low blood pressure then maybe the whole body has low blood pressure so let's release renin and they will uh, activate the renin angiotensin aldosterone system that would cause uh, hypertension there can be vascular malformations like aortic um, there can be coarctation of aorta causing um, hypertension etc neurologic disorders such as sleep apnea psychogenic disorders there can be endocrine abnormalities um, increased aldosterone secretion increased um, uh, hyper hyper aldosteronism there can be uh, birth control pills uh, contra contraceptives are also linked with um, hypertension lastly what will hypertension cause it will cause vascular changes and this uh, will lead to atherosclerosis which has been strongly linked to aortic dissection which simply means that the aorta uh, the intima of the aorta in the proximal uh, uh,
proximal section of the ascending aorta will be torn and blood will start flowing between the here um, between the intima and the media or the adventitia and uh, this can also lead to cardiac tamponade next we can uh, progress to arteriolosclerosis which can be of two types highline and hyperplastic and lastly atherosclerosis can also cause cerebrovascular hemorrhages and intra cerebral bleeds that will be a short recap of hypertension for the detailed lecture watch the previous video